that, I don't know if it's through dreams or that you see things coming in the future. Do you see that? Because they're telling me she would see things into the future. But a lot of times, you know, when they do this to me, it means you keep your mouth shut. Yeah, mm -hmm. I do because I, you're the, the feedback is not positive. Anymore. Right. Oh, that's going to happen. Right, right. That's why I said it was like that's why but I'll, I'll, and it's no mistake you girls are sitting next to each other and, and, it, and that goes along with everybody here tonight today that um, whoever you're sitting next to is no mistake or in front of or I call them sections also and I would just really you're ready to really jump into it I would highly recommend you start taking classes and workshops read uh, there's a lot of online programs because the more knowledge and everything you read you may not be interested in you might read the whole book and maybe one sentence is all you needed, really. Because not everything we're going to each, and each of us, just even the four of us up here, have different styles and beliefs and opinions. And that's supposed to be that way. I always say, even yesterday I told the girls, I said, look at us as a basketball team. We all play a different position. We're not all supposed to be the same. And that goes for everybody here and into the world. So don't compare yourself to your neighbor. But they do say to me that you're a future, you can tell storms and other things. <laughs> but we go upset. Why aren't they thinking the way we think? It's not your way, it's my way. I got the right idea. Well, anyway. <laughs> That's what the relatives said? <laughs> no, what happens is when you talk to people, sometimes, um, every once in a while, even the other day, I went to the store and says, I'm sorry. I just kept going back to this lady and all. I mean, she yelled and screamed at me. I don't believe in you. Don't talk. I mean, it was nonstop. Yep, so I said. Do what I know. did. You know what I did years ago? Because my first, I was so excited when I first started all this. Because uh, Jeremy always did all, you know, like nothing. And so for me, I felt insecure, probably like how you're feeling now. And um, so the first time, I go get my nails done. And all of a sudden, I see a necklace on this lady that's doing my nails. And I'm hearing from the mother, who's deceased, that says, that necklace belongs to me. Tell her I love her. Tell her. And she started giving me messages. And I'm excited because this is the first time I see a dead person. And I don't, I'm not scared. Like, hey. So I'm like, so I start telling the lady. I said, oh, did your mother, by the way, did your mother give you that necklace? And she's like, yes. And ignored me the rest of the time. <laughs> she put up the cross. <laughs> oh, dear. I went back into the yes, car and I, I prayed. <laughs> I went back into the car and I prayed and I said, Archangel Michael, what happened? I thought this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And the voice that came back is, did she ask for that? Yep, that's your lesson. <laughs> that was my lesson. So ever since then, so what I also do is I pray for clients, for students, and for everybody that I may be guided to give a message to outside of this realm, is please only guide me to people I can truly help. And that would be receptive to hear it. So based on that, even with my website and my YouTube, once in a while I might get a little line from somebody, but considering other people that don't ask for that, do that prayer, they get hundreds of complaints or like people saying, oh, you're crazy. I don't get that, really. I'm sorry, did I cut you off? No, 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 no. no. You kept getting someone in the bag. That girl over there with the blonde. What is your name? Yeah, you can you go over to her. No, you no. I, 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 the one with the glasses? Yeah. Yeah, what do you say? You can get up if no, you feel no, like nothing. Did you see what you got? Uh, nothing. It's just okay. something with her. It There's didn't come because we're, we're because I'm focusing on her. Okay, so now you so, can switch over. So now it's you know. I'm, well, I wish I could. Well, you guys. <laughs> 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 no, go ahead. She's, she's doing the whole thing. No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no you're the one. I have not yet. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to say something, Joni? Or go ahead. Yeah, please. No, she's the one that got. I was talking about looking at this one here. Alright, we'll this start one with her. Where do you want to go? No, with you, I kept getting, you know, this must be this side here. This side here, your side. We hear, I kept getting there, like a pain or uncomfortable or something to that. And you have a family member saying, oh, let's massage her. Maybe it's Sadaka. Hey, is this? And come on, tell her to put her legs up. She doesn't put her legs up. She's in the kitchen. She's doing this and doing that. She's not listening. I don't know if I had the TV going and everything else. But this is what they're telling me. So um, what they want you to do, and also there's a doctor on the other side. This doctor's from way, way back, old remedies, you know, type of doctor. So they said that sometimes maybe you're afraid to go to the doctors or something. But I get the lower back. I'm getting the lower back Saturday coming down in here. Um, 
I feel certain types, of, I'm not a doctor, so I don't want to go there, okay? <laughs> you know, I'm just telling you spiritual, that I feel that um, you need to get more of a, like, in yoga, life, life, like meditation, yoga, certain amount of exercise and things, because you had a great loss, and I'm feeling your heart, and there's a lot of pain in there, so it's like trying to understand the person that you lost, that, that doesn't matter timing, they don't always watch us over there. It says, no, but I'm here, but you're very conservative, you're very proud private they're telling me so here they're helping and sometimes they might have crossed over of something and they get close to you and you're going to feel what they crossed over of not that they have it they don't have it anymore but it's like you want to connect so be careful with that too know the difference what is yours and what is uh, one of you the person that you, Do you know what so she means much. by that mm -hmm. okay I like that so the <coughs> <coughs> they want to um <coughs> Sorry, I get the coughing. Somebody smoked. Somebody in your family smoked a lot. A lot of smoking. Did somebody Everyone smoke? Everyone. Oh, okay. Oh, I can't stop smoking. <laughs> I mean, smoking. <laughs> I don't smoke. I don't smoke. <laughs> did you say you stopped smoking? I never did. Okay, never did. But someone around you, because I didn't see you smoke. Someone around you kept smoking, and I got someone first over cancer. So it's like they want you. Like you have an ability to help. Like, you see, they kept telling, they kept looking at my bracelet with you, you know, they kept talking about my bracelet, meaning this is the time of the breast cancer and things mm -hmm. to that effect. And you were in your thing, so that's why I'm zooming into you. And, but they said, no, that you're fine, but your is to help others. And um, they're connecting and you're wondering, well, I, can I really hear them? Someone's calling out the name Anne. But anyway, can I really hear them or can they hear me or something to that effect? And yes, they can. You take me to the kitchen a lot. You keep taking me into the kitchen. I get a cup. Do you drink tea or coffee or something? Yeah, and well, you're not alone. Because when you go into the sit down, it's, you got birds too. You got birds outside your windows or something? I'm getting birds. And when those birds come in, they're like, it's like a form of they're sending them to you. To be like a believer, so, oh yeah, they like birds, or you know, you're relating to them. You say, I wonder if that's so and so. I wonder if that's so and so. And the thing's <laughs> right. Yes, yes, it is. Was it your mom that thinking. passed? Oh, yes. Yes, <coughs> that's who I see yeah, right next very to you. Sure. Yeah, she's definitely right next to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Were you a nursing or a medical field at all? Did you want to, like, who was it that said they wanted to be a nurse? Because I keep getting nursing around you, healer. But I felt like, go back when you were young, when they said, what do you want to be when you grow up? Yeah. Firefighter? Did you yeah, ever nurse, say nurse? nurse. Yeah, because they said you were supposed to be a nurse. Yes. Because right, really when they spell it over your face, yeah. and, they, and they kept saying, and what, what I was picking up, what Joni was saying is, you're, um, you're like her. Like, in other words, you could go on a party and feel great, and then all of a sudden, somebody sucks your energy, and then all of a sudden, you feel depleted. <laughs> Because you have that nurse energy, I call it, and this doesn't just apply to her. There's a handful of you in here that are the same way. You just have to be cautious because um, you need to rebuild your energies. You know that meditation we did in the beginning with the white light? You need to do that several times throughout the day. It's not just twice, but several. For a while, because I just feel a lot of people tap on you. You're always helping, doing, you never sit down. Um, and the pain is because um, you're always not sitting, you're always doing it for others. And so your body's tired, you're tired. Yeah. So you need a rest. Vacation yeah. would be wonderful. Yeah, going so um, yeah. Going so a light walking, do you ever get to walk outside? Because I feel like you need to be outside more. They not as often as I'd like to. I, do you yeah. have any pets by any chance? Uh, they're not mine. Oh, okay. They think they're mine, but I'm mm -hmm. a owner. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a loner and a straight cat. We just All right, cats, you can't them. walk. All right, anyway, yeah. just kind of make oh, yourself. Oh, you do? Yeah. All right, well, yeah. you need to, morning and night. Try yeah. to do it up it. Yeah. Go around, you know, really mm -hmm. up the, because I get, she needs to go outside more because mm -hmm. that's going to really help you with your legs, believe it or not. And the sciatica, or yeah. if that's even what you have. With straw hat. Too. Yes. Wear your hat. I have one uh, There you go. <laughs> straw hat. And they said, you don't have allergies either, so. No, no. So it's just spirit connecting. Animals are spirits too, they connect. Yes, what happens, true. Like, you know how see, Joni was just coughing at the smoking? So if yeah. you start, like, coughing, two reasons. You're trying to, they're trying to chat. If this goes for everybody, anybody else that had tickled throat before, it's because the spirits are trying to channel through you and you're clear, or you could be clearing. And also because you're channeling the smoke. Even though it might not be physical, it's spiritual. So you're picking up on that. 
So the biggest message is it's time for you to take care of you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Yeah. Do what you do. So you, you were picking that's up all it, the glasses. Come on. I the know, girl that's is waiting. <laughs> <there. laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, Courtney has a message. Yeah, yeah, good. Courtney. I'm not even sure here, but when, as they were talking, I don't know ever know when to butt in. But as they were talking, I just said I just heard that you need to heal your mind, body, and spirit, and also like guided meditations. Do you ever do those? No. Um, get your earphones and plug it into your phone, computer, and go to type go on YouTube, type guided meditations for relaxation, and do those. And that also helps with like stopping the clutter or like the chatter. Do you fall asleep? That's what I did, I so I had to sit that. straight up. <laughs> <laughs> so if you sit straight up, I know that helps me, so it might help you. Don't lay down, because I pass out when I sit. <laughs> <laughs> but I saw that sitting there. Yes. And all of a sudden it's like, <laughs> then you got to lay down. You know what I do in my meditation is I stand up when I'm lighting my candle, because then I can't fall asleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, that yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, is that what you want to do? I, you you want to relax. That's it's different time, between like clearing your you mind and 100 percent if you're one that's tired you can't <laughs> say. No. So it's a different I thought all the sleep and still hearing it was good too. Yeah, subliminal messages are absolutely great. It depends, because I do the going to sleep thing, but if you want to also clear your mind to get messages, mm -hmm. then I stand up first and light my candle and then I could feel like, you know, sit in my office or if there's you know like kitchen area instead of your bedroom where you I pass out too. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Gee, I never lit a candle laying down. How is that? <laughs> <laughs> I had to throw that one in. Uh, yeah. Do you get it? Okay, no, don't put me on the spot. <laughs> oh, there's the bird. Look, look, look. Yeah. Oh, oh, there you go. And See, it's just so about to let you know. cardinals a lot. Yeah, that was yeah. Yes, yeah, me, yeah, me too. Because somebody said a long yes. time ago, if you yeah. see them, that means that's where you're going to stay. So I said, I don't want to see you anymore because I'm, no, I'm not staying there. <laughs> <laughs> it's in New Jersey. There can be right? different reasons. Uh, a lot of times the spirit can take over the body of a, a bird, a butterfly, um, dragonflies. Uh, they'll get your attention. I've had birds. I'll never forget. I sat outside at a restaurant, and this bird literally landed on onto the table and stared at me. Until I looked at it and I heard it was my grandfather and I acknowledged it, did that bird finally fly away? But it stared me down. At first I was a little freaked out. It, was, it looked like from that movie, The Birds. And then all of a sudden I heard, look at it. And I finally looked at it in its eyes and I heard, it's your grandfather. And I went, oh, and then it flew away. But see, so there's messages everywhere. We just have to be open to them. Just open to them. Yeah, I know you, you have, to, well, who are you talking to now? The, the young girl of the, the pink? right here in the pink. Um, I keep, doesn't mean it has to be in spirit, but I'm getting your father, your father so strongly, but it's emotionally, it doesn't have to be spirit, okay? okay? Very emotionally all around you, and that has to mean something, and when I was telling Hetty when you first came in, I kept saying hi, remember I said hi to you, yes. and, oh, and you thought I was saying hello, no, somebody on the other side was using me to say hi, I'm glad you're here, hello. It's funny because so, when I saw you, I was like, I've met you some other time before. Before. I didn't know where, but when I saw you, I didn't mean you, but whoever was saying hi, they were right, like, so, like, right. Someone yeah. in spirit was saying hi, hi, look, we're meeting again. So that's what I was trying to explain to Hattie. I said, someone on the other side trying to get her attention. Because you have two people on each side of you, but I get a young person, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, dad, I get more of here now. Where's your dad? In Puerto Rico. Okay, he's thinking about you. That's why I say he's not in spirit. He's thinking about you. And his mom and his family, they're around you. So you're going to make a trip over there and help them. That's a dream I had last night. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> right. And then, of course, when you, and you're meant to heal him. He's got problems with his legs and this, that, but he likes to eat and you know, all that stuff. So don't handpeck him and don't, you know. Just pacify them, but they're so proud of you, they're so happy, but they want to know everything about you, but they're happy for you. But I see you owning a house. Do you own a home here? No, I'm 20. <laughs> well, oh, that you're a baby. Well, that's all right, honey. You're going to own a home here because I get a lot of books. You're still going to be studying, and you're gonna, you, you want to own your own business. And there's a lot of things you want to do. There's someone that, mm, I'm not going in that area. It's her mom but, next to her. Right. Just say it. Just say it. Just say it. She needs to hear it. Just say it. Just say it. Just say it. Just say it. She, well, yes. 
Somebody she's with is slowing her down. <laughs> <laughs> well put. Hey, you can get some. See, you got to go. You can finish. Go ahead. No, so it's, it's stopping her because, you know, the person's codependent.